Welcome back to Drug Talk, everybody. In today's video, I wanted to quickly share three things that you should know before using androgel or testosterone gel. The first thing people should be aware of with androgel is that there is a warning associated with this medication regarding secondary exposure. This is a concern for women and children who may come in contact with the application sites of patients using androgel. It means that the testosterone can be transferred from the patient using the medication to another individual through physical contact. For this reason, it's very important that after the androgel dries, the person using the medication should cover up with a shirt and always make sure to wash their hands. Luckily, the gel dries very fast, so patients can put a shirt on quickly after using the androgel. The second thing is to be aware of how to apply the gel. Androgel should be applied to clean, dry, healthy, intact skin. Patients are typically instructed to apply the gel to the left and right shoulders and or the left and right abdomen. A good trick to keep in mind when applying the gel is that you want to make sure that the areas where you apply the gel could be covered by a t-shirt. Never apply androgel to genitals, knees, chest, or back. And when you're applying the gel, do your best to evenly distribute it between both shoulders and abdomen. And the third thing people should be aware of is that you're supposed to avoid showering or swimming two to five hours after applying the gel based on the percentage of the androgel. According to the Mayo Clinic, if you use the 1.62% androgel, you should wait two hours before swimming or showering. And if you use the 1% androgel, it's recommended to wait five hours. Most of the testosterone, however, will be absorbed in the first four hours after application. And that's all we're going to talk about today with three things you should know before using androgel. Take care.